A couple of months ago, I came on here with a video called how to start a fashion business from home. I am not a believer in mediocrity, so of course I do not expect people that have learned from that video and started off their fashion brand from home to stay at home. At some point, you need to expand and grow your business into an even bigger fashion brand. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to us about starting a successful, successful is a keyword there, luxury fashion brand. And this time, we are not starting from home. I'm going to be talking about all the things that need to be in place for you to become the next big name on the lips of people that are looking to make luxury outfits all across the world. People like Vicky James, Matopeda Atelier, Imagine by Bukola, and the likes that have strong fashion brands that they started off from scratch and built into a strong brand, they don't have any superpower. Some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in today's video are the qualities and things that some of these people have and they have been able to put all of these things together to create their strong fashion brand. If you'll be interested in learning about this entire process, please make sure to watch this video all the way through. I'm going to be dropping a lot of gems. Subscribe to this channel if you're yet to like this video, share this video with a friend and don't hesitate to drop me your thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions down in the comment section. All right, guys, before I jump straight into today's video, if this is your first time of seeing me, hello, my name is Fumibi Olaware. I am a fashion enthusiast, a fashion entrepreneur based in Portakot, River State, Nigeria. This YouTube channel is where I talk all things fashion, dresses, luxury dresses, ready to wear dresses, beautiful fashion pieces that I see on the internet and I also sometimes share tutorials with you all on how to do all things relating to embellishments. If you like what you see already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Remember to turn on your post notification so you'll be the first person to be notified every single time I drop a new video. All right guys, into the reason why you clicked on today's video, starting a successful fashion brand. I have about 10 bullet points that I've written down that I'm also going to be looking at from time to time just to remind myself of the things that I want to talk to you guys about. The very first thing that you need in creating a successful luxury fashion brand is a strong passion for fashion. Personally, I know people say things like, oh, you don't have to have passion for it. You can just employ people that are passionate. If you as the creative director, the CEO, like some of my people like to call themselves these days, you don't have a passion for what it is they are trying to build. How do you expect the people that you are employing to be as passionate or even, or even more passionate than you are about this brand? As far as I'm concerned, without a strong passion for fashion, you are just joking, guys. You are not yet serious. You need to have a strong passion for it. You need to love it. It's that passion that's going to drive you to stay diligent, to stay passionate, okay? To stay consistent with it till it becomes all that you have imagined for it to be. People like CEO Lumini, Medlin Boss, and all the big names that you know in your country. I'm talking about people in my own country. So for my international audience, apologies if you don't know some of these names that I'm talking about. I am a Nigerian fashion enthusiast. I live in Nigeria. So I talk a lot of times about Nigerian fashion designers and people, fashion designers from my country at the moment are now global brands. People across the globe come to my country, Nigeria, to make amazing outfits. And I'm going to be just saying some of the things that I've learned from all these big brands that are located in my country. Country, okay, so apologies to my international audience for every single name that I mention. I'm going to drop all the relevant names in the description bar So feel free to go look for them on social media and just feed your eyes with some of the beautiful items that I make that I always see from time to time All right, I just thought to drop that point there. So back to the points strong passion for fashion okay you need to love it you need to be interested in it you need to understand it okay you can't be clueless about fashion and be thinking of making a strong fashion brand even if you're not actively you know you don't maybe you don't know how to beat clothes or you don't know how to sew clothes but you have a strong knowledge of it nobody can tell you anything about fashion you know your onions okay that's a phrase or a sentence that people say i know my onions you need to know your onions when it comes to fashion another thing that you need in order to create a successful luxury fashion brand is 
relevant years of experience we see a lot of these things when you are seeing a job posting online maybe vacancy for a particular post you see part of the criteria for getting that job is relevant years of work experience so you need relevant years of experience in fashion as far as i'm concerned it's very key to have worked in fashion for a couple of years in order to understand it deeply something that you have not related with for a long time you can't really say you know it it's just like a relationship you are dating someone but you've not related with them you've not talked to them you don't you know know what their mind is like you can't say you know that person so you have to have a strong relationship with fashion okay you have to be in a relationship with fashion you have to have worked in it probably worked with a fashion brand or even owned your own maybe small fashion brand for a while understood the nitty-gritty of fashion before you are now able to come up with a strong plan in creating your own strong luxury brand another thing you need is a very heavy baptism of the spirit of creativity a fresh baptism of the spirit of creativity because oh Creativity, as far as I'm concerned, is a very divine attribute. It's a very divine trait. I don't think people are born with it. I know some people like to say, I was born creative, but I feel like it's a gift from above. It's from a divine type of gift. We see a lot of these big fashion brands that come up with amazing, amazing design outfits. As far as I'm concerned, those things are not just ordinary. Call me superstitious, call me weird, but that's what it is, guys. You need to pray for it, okay? It's something, things that I see in other people that I want for myself, I remind myself to always pray for it. Oh, this person is so smart. I pray to God. God, give me wisdom. God, give me insight. God, open my eyes. I was watching a sermon a couple of weeks ago from Tiffany Montgomery. She's one of the people that I watch a lot of at administrations and stuff, and it's in the last Covered by God um administration she had this um prophet or is it she had this man of god coming to her program which is the covered by god that i'm talking about and he was saying that some people they just look but they don't see okay it's one thing to look but it's another thing to see you can be looking at a wall and you can't see anything there but somebody else can come there and see something that you're not seeing and point it out to you so i pray to god from time to time to help me not to be just an onlooker but a seer to see to imagine things to be creative so about this point of a fresh baptism of the spirit of creativity is something that you can pray into your life and it's also something that requires practice i know i spoke about the spiritual aspect of the spirit of creativity but i feel like if you don't practice all these insights that god is giving you you don't put pen to paper to also draw it out, try it out. After a while, because it's staying redundant in you, it's probably just going to die off. So when God gives you this gift of creativity, put it into use. Don't just leave it dormant, okay? Remember the story of the five talents, the person that went to dig the ground and just put it in the ground without doing anything with it. The master, after he came back from his trip, expecting all the servants that he gave talent to, to use it, the one that went to dig the ground and bury his own talent, he was very unhappy with that particular servant. So let's not be that person that just digs the ground. When God has blessed us with the spirit of creativity, we are just burying that talent and not putting it into use, okay? So when you have prayed for that grace, when you have been blessed with that grace, practice with it. Put it into good use. It's that practice and diligent use of these talents that will cause it to multiply and bloom. Another thing that you need for creating a strong luxury fashion brand is a workspace. A factory depending on what you choose to call it like I said you are building a luxury fashion brand this time not from home so you need a workspace if it's that you're going to rent a studio if it's that you're going to rent a shop do the needful okay you need a factory you need a workspace somewhere that when you walk into that place you know that it's time for business no time for playing around here okay so for that aspect depending on the city where you live in or the country where you live in do the needful do all the research talk to a real estate Per se, someone that can advise you, tell them your budget, how much you have, and make sure that you are able to pay your rent. Make sure that you have grown your fashion brand from the little that used to be that you were working from home. You've grown it, you've expanded financially, and you can afford to pay your rent comfortably. That's why at first, the very first video I did about this growing a fashion brand, I spoke about starting from home because I know that not all of us have a lot of capital that we can use in renting space, renting workspace and all of that. But if you've been working from home, getting clients, doing jobs, making profits, I believe you've been saving and it's the savings that you've done so far that will cost you the opportunity to be able to finance the luxury fashion brand that you're looking to create for yourself. So talk to a real estate person, tell them your budget and also 
just create that space for yourself another thing that you need is fabrics and accessories and not just any type of fabric you are trying to grow a luxury fashion brand so you need to have luxury fabrics in your collection and luxury accessories when creating a luxury fashion brand i see a lot of nigerian designers calling themselves a luxury fashion brand but there's nothing luxury about the things that they do guys we are not promoting mediocrity in this year and beyond when you call yourself a luxury fashion brand or a luxury business make sure that that luxury is speaking it is that luxury that is speaking that will cause people to be attracted to you by the grace of God and also give you the expansion that you are looking for so don't be stingy with your business you are saying you want to build a luxury fashion brand but when a fabric seller tells you that oh four yards of this fabric is 250,000 you are shouting you are screaming because you feel like it's too expensive luxury fashion like I always say is not cheap Someone that I like to refer people to based in Potaco that sells luxury fabrics is Apeke Streams to go go and see the fabrics that she's posting on her page. She did not sponsor me. She didn't give me a dime for any of the plugins that I always do for her. But she sells quality fabrics and those fabrics are not cheap. If you are trying to create a luxury fashion brand, you need to use quality items, quality fabric, quality accessories, quality cup chain. You will not put cup chain on a luxury fabric and then when your client wears it, the cup chain is tarnishing. You do not buy a luxury cup chain. Buy good quality stones, good quality beads and use it to create your phenomenal designs. Another thing you need is industrial grade machines. You cannot be using all these foot chakara chakara like I like to call them those local types of sewing machine and be saying you want to make luxury dresses the mass is not going to mass you need to invest in good industrial machine industrial overlock machine industrial steaming machine industrial loop machines those machines that you use in creating loops for corsets on outfits luxury fashion is not cheap fashion okay that's why sometimes we've talked about this topic a lot of times and i'm even tired of talking about it luxury fashion is not cheap when you see people shouting about the prices that some of these fashion designers put on their outfits they are shouting out of ignorance and it's high time i like the fact that a lot of fashion designers now are taking the time to educate ignorant you know people that have a lot to say about the pricing that they put on their outfits industrial machine is not cheap industrial overlock machine is not cheap luxury fabric like we just spoke about is not cheap so make sure that as you are investing because as far as i'm concerned in building that strong fashion brand you need to do a lot of investments all of these things that i'm talking about they don't come cheap you need to spend money in order to expect the money to come back to you okay and i pray for us for those of us that genuinely covet this grace for strength and finances to build a luxury fashion brand if fashion is your desire you want to become the next big brand the next big name in fashion design in your country I pray that God grants you the grace that you need. I pray God grants you the strength. He sends supply your way. He blesses the work of your hand indeed and grants you your heart desire. Okay, so I said all of that to say that you need money, but trust that that money is going to come back. Okay, you just need persistence. Persistence. Don't give up, my sisters. Another thing you need in growing your luxury fashion brand is love for taking risk. Like I just said, all of these things that I'm saying is a risk. There's nobody that promised you that you are going to make hammer money in your first year or hammer money in your second year or your third year. But you need to be able to take that risk and see where it leads you to. If you don't take the risk, you will never know. Okay? For me, a lot of times when I see people talking about failure, the moment you give up, you have failed. And when I say give up, I don't mean continue at something that is not working. My point when I, I talk about not giving up is not throwing all your eggs away and saying oh it's not worth it if it's not working pivot try something new stay at it for a while see where it takes you until you hit that sweet spot i like to talk about my youtube journey a lot of times and my just journey with fashion two years ago three years ago what i'm doing currently i never imagined it for myself but it was my willingness my openness to taking risks trying new things okay that is what led me where i am currently and i'm yet to even see where god is taking me to right so take risks if you are trying to build a luxury fashion brand, start small and take risks, okay, here and there and see where it takes you to, okay? Another thing you need in order to build a strong luxury fashion brand is advertising. Advertisement, if that's what you want to call it, you need to advertise yourself. You can't be trying to build a strong luxury fashion brand and you're not advertising yourself, you're not talking about it. Vicky James, who is someone that I like to refer to a lot of times, at the beginning stages, she wasn't making a lot of money. She has talked about it in countless interviews, but... Vicky was almost 
ridiculous in the way in which she believed in her strong fashion brand some of the things some of the testimonies that she's living in currently back in the day she did she wasn't even there yet she wasn't even close but she could see it that's one thing about dreams and when other people around you you are waiting for people to push you or clap for you the dream that god gave you god did not give all of you god gave it to you so some of the things that you are seeing that is making people think you are crazy or you are not you are out of your mind they didn't see it god did not give them that vision it is you that god gave it to so it's left to you to see it for yourself and walk in it and profess it and exhibit it advertise it for people to see you are calling yourself a luxury fashion brand and maybe your client base is still small for now make the dresses for yourself wear it on yourself wear it to parties wear it to church wear it to events and talk about it. when people ask oh who made it i made it i actually own a luxury fashion brand i actually own if you want to call yourself upcoming i have a budding fashion brand i make dresses take pictures Shadow shoots Vicky James a couple of years ago. Some of the major dresses that blew her up are dresses that she wore, she made for herself, did a shoot, took pictures, posted online. Bella Nigeria picked it up, Miss Ashwebi picked it up, Ashwebi Africa picked it up, and from there people knew her, right? So you need to be willing to take risks. You have a YouTube channel, you are trying to make create a luxury brand for yourself. Wear this luxury brand do shoots on youtube nobody with youtube you can create and you can turn anything into content wear these dresses you are making a video oh i made this dress feel free to place an order you're on instagram wear the dress take pictures post reels post on tiktok and toot your own horn right talk about it advertise it if you are keeping it in your parlor keeping it in your locality nobody is knowing you apart don't be a local champion guys i don't know if i'm the one that is just very ambitious but let's perish every idea local champion mentality we destroy it in the name of jesus we are built for world domination. God created us to have dominion, okay? So dominate all around. Don't just be someone that is local champion. They only know you in your streets. Advertise yourself. The internet has turned the world into a global village. Another thing you need, I know it's coming kind of towards the end of this video, but prayer. Prayer, 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 prayer. Pray without ceasing. Pray about that business. God, you said that I've, you've shown me this big name that you want to turn me into lord show yourself remove every covering sometimes i see a lot of especially in this year oh i've i've taken i've kind of always wanted to just take a closer walk when it comes to the spiritual aspect of things and for me now everything we are all spiritual beings that are living a human life i don't just look at things we just oh it's just random nothing is random everything as far as i'm concerned is spiritual I cast and bind, I rebuke, I reject things now. I'm not afraid to open up my mouth. There, were, there was a period in my time when I was younger that I used to think oh, it was not cool to be, uh, before people would be calling me a spirit coco, like we always say back in the day. But now, yes, if I'm saying anything I don't like, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I reject it in the name of Jesus. If I'm doing things and I'm feeling like, oh, God, I'm walking like an elephant and eating like an ant, I pray against it every spirit of walking like an elephant eating like an ant i rebuke it in the name of jesus everything spirit of covering every evil covering over my walk i rebuke it visibility people see me they don't just look at me they see me they are interested in me they are attracted to me my my everything i touch turns to gold you pray about it if you feel like oh you have been stuck in a small place why are you not praying about it talk to god he's the one that created you talk to him that time that you're using to cry about it to your friend, cry about it to your mommy and your daddy and your husband and your friends and your sister and brother. Talk to God. God, you did not create me to be small. I'm tired of always borrowing money to do things here and there. Open up doors of favor unto me. Shine your light upon me. Be my everlasting light. Use the word of God. A lot of us carry our Bibles up and now we don't open it. Open your Bible. Read God's promises to you and speak it over your work. Speak it over your life. Speak it over your business. And you will see all the difference okay have a close walk with god i talk about it all the time and it's almost cliche on the channel but guys god is a good god a good god but you need to draw onto him so he will draw to you too you can't be far from god and be you know talking to him from a distance bring god close go into him bring him into your business and talk to him i'm getting very passionate guys but i hope we all understand prayer 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 is the master key Another thing that you need in growing this strong, successful luxury fashion brand is a team. I know I've said all of these things. You need a good team, not just a random team. A team, not B team, not C team. 
B team are those types of team that they will just they will just do their best and leave the rest. C team is that those ones that they don't even want to do anything. You need an A team. A people that are dedicated. They are focused. They are even almost more focused than you that you are that you call yourself the CEO. They are seeing the big picture. The way you are seeing it, you have been able to pass that revelation that God gave you, pass it on to them, and they are seeing it. A strong team, dedicated. Not people that you employ and their greatest concern is salary. They will come to work late. You will tell them, oh, this dress needs to be ready by tomorrow for our customer. They will, two weeks later, you are still begging them to beat the dress. They are the ones that will spoil your business. So, a strong, dedicated team. And from where you've been starting from small, you should be able to have created some form of relationship with people that are looking to work for you or people that you would like to have on board with you when you finally establish your luxury fashion brand. So, a good team. A team. You cannot do it alone. This successful fashion brand that you're trying to create, you cannot do it alone. Vicky James is not doing it alone. Matopeda Atelier is not doing it alone. Kai Collective, who is another amazing fashion brand owner, even though her own type of fashion is kind of different from Vicky James and all the other people that I talk about. Fisa Yolonge, she's not doing it alone. She has a team. A good team. People that understand the dream. People that have seen the picture that she wants for her business. Ready to wear brand. Frida Cameo Style House. Frida is kind of like my sister. I go to her workspace from time to time when I want to shop. She's not doing it alone. So you need a dedicated team. And I know sometimes chances of you stumbling into bad team members from time to time is kind of high. But don't give up and say, ah, everybody is bad. I'm not employing again. It's not going to work, guys. When you make mistakes, remove those bad eggs from the team and make sure that you have curated your team in such a way that they are all A team members. Like, like I illustrated earlier, people that are go-getters, dedicated, determined, disciplined, respectful to your customers. I've talked about customer service tips for fashion designers and entrepreneurs. If you've not seen that video, go check it out. I'll leave it on the screen. Don't employ people that will spoil your business, okay? And I pray that God helps us. The last thing I'll be sharing with us for people that are trying to create a luxury, a successful luxury fashion brand is body form, mannequin, and cutting table. Massive cutting table where you can do industrial grade work. Don't go and buy six by six size type of cutting table. You need a massive, a very long cutting table that you have all your tailors, your pattern drafters working simultaneously or is it concurrently now i don't know the word for it but a standard cutting table workspace mannequin for those people that will be asking me oh fumbi and you are using um tambouring to bid what if i want to bid a dress that means you are a strong fashion brand the the tambouring i'm using is just for youtube tutorials if i have a big fashion brand of course i'm not going to be using tambouring to bid my customer's dress invest in a body form if you cannot invest in body form, buy mannequin. Go to your local markets. People that live in Nigeria, go to all these Eko Idumota, Idumota markets. Aba, they have sections there that they sell all these things. Body forms, mannequins. If you want to import from abroad, if you have that kind of money, if you live abroad, oh, that's, they sell these things on Amazon and all these other websites. Invest in it. And I wish us all the best. I hope we all picked a thing or two from today's video. If you enjoyed watching, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up. If there's anything that maybe I did not talk about in this video, please continue the conversation down in the comments. I love reading from you guys. I love the engagement of recent. I see a lot of people just pouring their hearts out in the comment section. I love to see it. Thank you guys so much. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you're missing clearly. You can see from everything that I've spoken about in this video, you're missing a lot. So subscribe and remember to turn on your post notification so you'll be the first to know. My analytics is telling me that the higher percentage of people that watch my content are not subscribed. Guys, please, let's not do this, okay? Let's subscribe. Don't just be watching and leaving. Stay. Become a part of us. Become a part of this moving train, okay? And like this video. Share with a friend. And yeah, guys, I cannot wait to see you all in another tutorial or video very, very soon. Bye.